Hi everybody, I'm Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. So I am eight weeks pregnant and I imagine you are too, which is why you're dialing into this show. So at week eight, your baby is about the size of a raspberry. Your baby is 0.62 inches and weighs less than 0.04 ounces. During this week, your baby's fingers and toes will start to form. Tiny arms and legs are growing longer. The foot and the hand areas and the wrists are visible. Elbows and ankles are visible. Eyelids are forming. This week, the ears, the upper lip, the tip of the nose take on form. The digestive tract is growing. Heart function and circulation are more well-developed and the heart is pumping at 150 beats a minute. Can you believe it? Symptoms, if you're experiencing morning sickness, please watch the video I filmed a few weeks ago when I was five weeks pregnant where I talk about this, what the causes are, what some of the remedies can be. And I hope that you feel better soon because this can be very debilitating. Your body is producing more blood to carry oxygen and nutrients to your baby. And this increase in blood production is particularly high during month two of your pregnancy. At the same time, your circulation is running a bit short in terms of accommodating this increased volume of blood. So your heart is pumping faster and faster, and guess what? You are exhausted. These changes in blood circulation can cause fatigue, dizziness, and headaches. I'm really feeling the fatigue, especially in the afternoon. By around four o'clock, I can't stay awake. I try to lie down in bed, put a pillow on my head, and see if I can get just about like 20 minutes of sleep so that I can make it through the evening hours with my kids. It's exhausting. It's an exhausting time. Insomnia is also a major symptom at this stage and I have it. I'm not so much having trouble falling asleep. I'm just waking up all night long to go to the bathroom. It seems to me like it could be every hour and it's a real problem because I wake up in the morning and even if I've been in bed for eight hours, I wake up tired. So that's kind of hard. Bump and exercise. I feel like I could see a little bit of a bump. I mean, it's not anything that is, you know, significant, but I feel like I could see like a little more roundness than I did in prior weeks. Um, it's not something that I think anybody would notice. My jeans are tighter than they have been. I don't know how many more weeks I will be in them. In terms of exercise, I am doing the same things I always do. A little bit of yoga, or maybe a little slightly gentler yoga because I'm so tired. Um, bar exercises, I'm trying to avoid being on my stomach and I'm trying to walk as much as I can. So a big thing happening in week eight is the ultrasound appointment. I actually had mine yesterday. My doctor did detect a fetal heartbeat, which was very reassuring. During the first ultrasound, your doctor will be trying to confirm that you have a viable pregnancy, confirm the baby's heartbeat, and also measure your baby from crown to rump, which should allow them to more accurately determine the date you became pregnant and your ultimate due date. There are basically two types of ultrasounds. There's a vaginal ultrasound where the doctor will put an instrument up your vagina, and there's a 3D ultrasound, which is what I had, 2D or 3D ultrasound, which is what I had on the belly. Your doctor will place gel, which can be a bit cold, and they will use an instrument called a transducer in order to get images of the baby. This works through sound waves, and those are the images that you can see on the monitor and you'll probably get a printed copy of all this or even a digital copy when you finish your appointment. In terms of diet at this stage, you should be avoiding alcohol, you should be avoiding raw fish, you should be avoiding soft, non-pasteurized cheeses. You should have a diet that's rich in folic acid, omega-3s, protein, iodine, calcium, vitamins D and B12. I'll be you know, sharing other sorts of ideas for foods than I have in past weeks as we go along, but just try to eat healthy, Avoid excess fats, avoid sugar, try to stick to lots of fruits, lots of vegetables, whole grains, lean meats. You guys know the drill. Here's a checklist for week eight of your pregnancy. Keep taking your prenatal vitamin. By week eight, you should really have a sense of prenatal testing options. Talk to your doctor about what these options are and see what he or she advises. Make sure to try to catch a nap during the afternoon because you're probably exhausted. I am, I cannot stay awake at four o'clock. It's like a 20 minute nap for me every day. That's helping me get through the evening hours with my kids. Just try to make sure to stay relaxed, enjoy your pregnancy, think about who you can confide in because at this point you might be feeling like talking to someone other than your partner. Enjoy this special time, 
and thank you so much for watching cloudmom.com. Thank you.